Hello, this is Mr. Parks from Risen Christ Lutheran School, and I have another video for fourth grade for Module 5, Lesson 1. Today, we're going to be working with using pictures to represent multiplication problems and how we can use that to help us find our answers. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at our first problem. We're working with a pint of strawberries. Um, containing 24 strawberries, how can you show the number in three pints? So what we could do is we could go ahead and draw 10 blocks and four one blocks, and I could do that three times, and then we can go ahead and figure out what our total would be. Now, of course, with this example, we're going to end up with more than 10. So we would end up with 12 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we can do 60 plus 12 and then add those together and we would get 72. Um, and then we could show the number of pints in a different way. Um, we could go ahead and trade in uh, some of the ones uh, for a 10 when we get done, we could also break them up into different things. So for instance, um, we could do um, like an array for each thing. Um, so we could do three groups of eight and then we could do three times eight and then um, do that times three. Um, kind of calling back to something that we did, although it would be a little bit more difficult um, than the types of numbers we were working with when we were multiplying three numbers together um, towards the end of the last module. Um, standard apple tree can grow 13 bushels. How can we use base 10 blocks? Uh, so again, we're going to do the same kind of deal here. Uh, we will do this with the base 10 blocks in class to help. Um, so we're going to do three ones oops, and two tens, and then three ones and two tens. And then we can add that together um, to get 26. And for this one, we want to figure out how many calories in uh, the guacamole are from avocados. So we're going to do 234 times 3 uh, because we are using 3 avocados. Um, I do like guacamole very much. I don't always use tomatoes. I could probably do without those. I could probably uh, replace uh, some of this, like the cumin and salt and cayenne with adobo seasoning, um, but that's neither here nor there. We want to do 234 times three. So our picture, we are going to use um, two uh, flats for the 100 blocks, and we are going to do that three times and I'm going to run out of room if I don't make my picture smaller. Uh, we are going to use three 10 blocks for each group. And then we are going to use four 1 blocks for each group. And then we could add those together. So we're going to get 12 for the 1 blocks. We are going to get 60, oh, I'm sorry, 90. Uh, for the 10 blocks, and then we are going to get 600 for the 100 blocks or flats. And so we will end up having to carry at one point because we can cash in uh, 10 of these guys uh, for an extra 10 block, uh, which is going to give us 702. Uh, once we cash in uh, these guys, let's say I cash in all of these and go ahead and erase them. I can make an extra 10 block and then I can trade in all 10 10 blocks for a flat and then that would give us our final answer. I don't know why I wrote a zero there. I don't know what I was thinking. We want a two there. Probably need a little more coffee. All right, there we go. So that fixes that. All right, and so how could we use place value and base 10 blocks uh, to help us? Well, I just showed an example of that. How could we write the uh, multiplication equation? So we could do three times, and then in parentheses, we would do um, 200.
and then plus uh, 30. plus four, and then we could break that apart. So we would get our three times 200 plus three times 30 plus three times four would be the second step, and then we would continue working it out from there. Um, to save time, I won't uh, draw the rest of that. I do want to show this part. Okay, so for number three, write the multiplication equation. So we need to think about what blocks we're working with to get the number, we are working with 100, 110 block, and a 1 block. So that's going to give us 111. And then we want to figure out how many groups we have. We have three equal groups of that. And so we would get 111 times 3. And then we could go ahead and write the answer um, of 333. So uh, that concludes everything that I want to do on this particular video. Hope it's been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me either by text message or email from our, for my Risen Christ students and their families. Um, again, the previous video I showed the homework page. If you think that would be helpful for this as well, uh, please let me know and I can go ahead and start devoting some extra time to adding that in for every single lesson if that is something everyone wants to see. So please let me know um, and I hope you have a great day. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.